It's my pleasure to join you at Personalised Beauty Global today. Thank you for joining me um, if you're in the audience. Um, I'm Wilma McDaniel and my company Cutitronics uh, designs and supplies technology solutions to skincare brands who have great formulations and want to support their consumers to get optimum results from those formulations at home. What I'd like to begin by doing is giving you a little bit of my background that I talked about uh, at actually at this conference last year when we were all in London, um, because we could truly never have anticipated the year that lay ahead of us. So I'd like to reflect on some of that before we consider how we might be going forward as an industry. So if when we talk, when we look back to my, when I first joined the industry in the 80s and 90s, we were very, very much focused on creating experiences in the physical stores and in the physical spas. Um, we saw through the advent of e-commerce and bloggers um, and influencers that start to change around the turn of the millennial. And of course, we could never have anticipated um, some of the restrictions that we've seen across the physical spaces this year through uh, the global pandemic in which we're all living. And so what I'd like to do today is explore how we might bring all of this together um, not for technology's sake, but actually to support the purpose of our industry, which is always about transforming how people take care of themselves in order to give um, them optimal health and wellness. So my journey into this industry began a very long time ago. I was just 13 years old when my mum left our family home one dreary Sunday afternoon in February and returned three days later, looking and feeling like a different person. You see, my mum was and still is passionate about her family and she constantly juggled between running a successful business and, and us. And so when a good friend recommended that she go to a health retreat for the first time, she jumped at the opportunity. And I can still remember coming home from school on that Wednesday afternoon. I, it was the first time I'd ever seen makeup brushes, but this was so much more than makeup. This was wellness because she had been exposed to expertise in, in, in diet and in, in fitness and in relaxation, as well as in skincare and makeup. That prompted me to read the first release, release of Cosmopolitan's Health and Beauty Guide. And after reading it cover to cover, I convinced my parents that I wanted to, spud, to study international spa therapy and management. And I'll always be thankful um, that they supported me to follow that dream because it has led to a lifetime traveling the world, working with some of the most renowned brands in our space, and more importantly, working with many truly inspirational people. And on the subject of inspirational people, my career took a serendipitous twist uh, five years ago when I met the founders of Cutitronics. Let me introduce you to Dr. David Heath and to Barry Hotchfield. David's background was in biomedical engineering. So following his PhD, he was working on projects around um, transdermal drug delivery and non-invasive patient monitoring. And of course, through that work, was very aware of the very dynamic nature of our skin. Um, you know, our skin is so unique to us that we can be identified by it. And that's before we even consider the impact of the changing environment around us. And so David was invited to speak at a skincare conference. And um, he didn't realize until he got there that it was actually more on the personal care side of skincare as opposed to the medical side of skincare. And he gave his presentation and then sat back to listen to everyone else and um, very quickly realized that we as an industry were very much trying to solve all of our challenges with chemistry. And we had not yet really considered six, seven years ago 
the opportunity to bring in engineering based devices and IoT. And so David spun the company out of the University of Strathclyde and it was there he met Barry Hotchfield, who was also a Strathclyder. Uh, Barry had studied physics in the 70s before joining Apple in California, where he worked on the original Macintosh family. Um, he moved back to Europe um, to open Apple's first um, R&D facility outside of North America. Um, he then went from Apple on to working on what we all now know as chip and pin for MasterCard. And from there, he started his own company specializing in electronic ticketing, which he duly floated and sold on to Trainline. So if you have traveled on London Underground or other such transport networks around the world, you may well have been exposed to some of Barry's technologies. So we have been working over the past five years to build an exceptional multidisciplinary team uh, to build a patented suite of technology solutions um, so that we can offer access to the global brands who have these great formulations, a truly new level of connection to their consumers at home. So global beauty is an extremely crowded marketplace where consumers are confused on how to choose and how to use what's best for them in a personalized way. Traditionally as an industry, we have solved this by providing trained expertise at the physical point of sale, whether that's in a store, in a salon or spa, or in a dermatologist's office. We've always been passionate about gathering data to understand our consumers, but what we've never really been able to do is what happens when those consumers go home with products. How do they use those products and what results do they produce? And this is what we're gonna to explore today. But before I do that, I want us to consider the general adoption of technologies, both in our personal care space and also more widely within technologies. This is some data that we took from Accenture, uh, where over 70% of consumers are now very comfortable with the use of smart technology in their homes to make their lives easier. And this can be anything from Siri and Alexa, to fitness trackers, to smart scales, to coffee machines, to heating systems. So we're increasingly becoming more comfortable with how technology automatically makes our life easier. We know that consumers are seeking um, connection at home. We know that they are seeking better ways to take care of themselves from some of these Google Trends data that I'm sharing on this screen. And I think more than ever, COVID-19 has accelerated the need for omni-channel experience for the consumer. So whether you're in spa, in store, or you're sitting at your dressing table at home, you've got consistency in the experience recommendations um, and trust that you have with your chosen skincare brand. And this is another um, important point to note over the past year. There is no doubt that the crisis has profoundly accelerated digital transformation in our space, but also more generally. You know, we're seeing people using tech in ways that they might never have done because of the barriers to change that COVID-19 has brought about. You know, I think we all agree we'll never do business in exactly the same way as ag again, uh, beyond this pandemic. And that's an important consideration as we think about the ease in which consumers are now open to using technologies like never before. So let's consider the challenges that we as an industry face. Let's start with the brand. Um, I touched on earlier, you know, the brand as, as, as an industry, we've always as brands been hungry to understand our customers. You know, we were gathering um, data on file cards 
uh, prior to the advent of CRM and all that that's brought with us. But what we've never really understood is that real life engagement with the product and the individual consumer. And our vision is to change that. We then consider in the physical store, because again, I believe, yes, everything has gone digital at the moment, but I think we'll never more than ever <laughs> after this want to go to a great store for experience or a great spa for experience. And we have a wealth of expertise and talent with the ambassadors that we have in the physical spaces. And yet at the moment that connection can be restricted to just those physical spaces. So our vision is to change that and extend the expertise and experience of the ambassador in between those physical store or spa visits. And then let's go to the all important consumer. We know from our research that the principal reason a consumer does not repurchase premium skincare is that they just don't see the results that are claimed through clinical trial. And so our vision is an automated transfer of skincare expertise to the home. So let's look at that a little bit more fully on why the consumer doesn't see results at home. Let's consider the clinical trial environment, a dedicated distraction-free environment with lab standard technologies taking objective measurements. We've got consistently and professionally managed protocols and procedures, so we know exactly what volumes of products are being used, we know what environment the environment is controlled, as you know in clinical trials, and all of this data rich data is carefully recorded. And yet the consumer goes home into our ever increasing busy lives with distractions left, right and center. So it should be no surprise to us that regime adherence, regime compliance can be erratic. And we have research that, that shows just how, how ad hoc dosage is. And of course, no data is captured. One of the key differences of our technologies from a lot of technology that's out there is that we take gold lab standard methodologies and re-engineer those into form factors that can be used by an untrained consumer at home, or it can indeed be used in the store or, or in the spa. And why that's important is the quality of data that this produces. So not to knock any other technologies, because I think there's some great, fun, engaging technologies out there with selfies. And they're super interesting between the brand and the retailers and the consumer. But the data that's captured doesn't really have any value further back in the, the labs where the ingredients are created and where those optimum formulations are manufactured. And so this rich data set that we capture truly gives choice all the way along our value chain to influence the, the formulation creation and the ingredients of the future by understanding this rich consumer data on usage and environment. So let's move on to how we see the future revolutionizing skincare. So we have created an entire ecosystem which is white labeled for the individual brand's route to market, um, consumer experience, and ultimately their choice. So this becomes our technology inside their solutions. So we have consumer apps, which is the interface between the brand and, and the consumer, no matter where in the world they are. We can bring in the specialist ambassador therapist apps that can be used in store, in spa, to create that connection in between physical visits. I've already mentioned the diagnostics and the gold lab standard type data, and those of course can be used at home and in store. All of this rich data is secured in an entirely protected back office system to connect the individual brand's systems. 
And then a really, really important part, and I think the cornerstone of what we're doing here is automating regime adherence technologies. So we've got smart dispensing automatically tracking to this full ecosystem so that we can really solve this issue of ad hoc use of products. We can actually track and guide the consumer into exactly how much to use based on their skin health diagnostics and the environment that they're in in an entirely automated fashion. So what we do is bring together this solution for the individual brands that we're working with that best meets their business needs. And that's simply how we revolutionize how people take care of their skin at home. And I think it's important, the word simply, because there's a lot of technology here, but it's really not about the technology. It's actually about delivering the results for the consumer at home, for that brand to create that lifelong connection with their, their consumers so that a lifetime of optimal skin health is just one less thing we need to think about. I think it's really important to um, think about this from an omni-channel point of view, because I think our lives need to be seamless. We still want to go for great treatments. We still want to go for great uh, store experiences. We still want, I think, as I said earlier, I think more than ever after this pandemic, we want human connection more than ever. And so the solution is tailored to that route to market, whatever it happens to be. I'm now going to share a short film that hopefully sums up and simplifies some of what I've just shared with you. Um, So how does this all work? Well, I'm delighted to say this is all about teamwork. We have a phenomenal team. We have a phenomenal um, team of technical expertise and experience. And, and please jump onto our website, cutitronics.com, and you can see some of the exceptional talent that we have in our business that's bringing together all of these solutions for great skincare brands. But this is my team. Um, the five of us work together and we'd like to invite you to have a coffee and a chat, uh, virtually obviously to be safe, to talk about your brand, your business, uh, ask questions about our technology, give us your opinion. Um, so let me introduce you to my team. Um, on the left is, is Emma, our um, marketing manager. On Louise, uh, then is Louise, our customer relationship manager. Um, to my right is the fabulous Nicola, who works in marketing and business development in the UK. And then we have Virginie, who is our business manager based in Paris. Virginie is trilingual, English, she's native French and Spanish. So please reach out uh, to us on cutitronics.com and book to have a coffee. We'd love to chat to you about what you think the future of skincare looks like. So let me just finish by thanking you very much for your time and attention today. It truly has been my pleasure to once again be part of this conference. Um, you can reach out to me on cutitronics.com, on wilma-mcdaniel.com or on LinkedIn and I'll be delighted to hear your questions. Thank you.